What's going on everybody? Marcus back again here with another video. Today I wanted to go over some brief news. Um, BlizzCon Line 2022 has been cancelled. Let's go ahead and uh, take a look at what's going on here. So we've decided to take a step back and pause the planning on the previously announced BlizzCon Line event scheduled for early next year. This is a tough decision for all of us to make, but it is the right one. Any BlizzCon event takes every single one of us to make happen, an entire company effort fueled by our desire to share what we create with the community we care about so much. At this time, we feel the energy it would take to put on a show like this is best directed towards supporting our teams and progressing development of our games and experiences. Good point. <laughs> Additionally, we would like to also make take the time to reimagine what a BlizzCon event of the future would look like. The first BlizzCon was held 16 years ago, and so much has changed in the time since, most notably the multiple ways in which players communi and communities can come together and feel like they are part of something bigger, whatever the event looks like. We also need sure it feels safe, welcoming, and inclusive as possible. We're committed to the continual communication with our players, and we see BlizzCon playing a big role in that going forward. One more thing we wanted to make clear, even though we aren't holding BlizzCon online, we'll still be making announcements and updates for our games. We're proud of our teams and the progress they've made across our games. We've got a lot of exciting upcoming news and releases to share with you, blah, blah, blah. Well, um, I'm not surprised that BlizzCon online is being canceled um, only because of all of the events surrounding, um, surrounding um, you know, what's going on in the in with the lawsuits and things of that nature one of the things that uh, obviously i was concerned about when i saw this was how are they going to announce world of warcraft expansions is it going to be like at gamescom or are they going to just do it on a twitch stream just make an announcement and go hey you know we're going to um we're going to have this expansion or this release. So, so I am very, I am very um, c concerned about how it's all going to play out. But I'm not surprised. What I'm most looking forward to is is what BlizzCon is actually going to become going forward. Um, my first BlizzCon was BlizzCon 2009, which was an amazing experience, especially since I'd, I'd barely been playing WoW for about a year, and WoW was at its apex. Uh, the the entire experience was amazing. I didn't go to another BlizzCon until 2015, and I went to 2015, 16, and 17. So I've been to four BlizzCons. Um, I've had a great time at all of them. But after 2015, because of what was going on with the other games, and because of what was going on with WoW, WoW kind of took a backseat to what was going on. And it was kind of uh, disappointing because um, I'm a big WoW fan. I think WoW is the best game that they make, and it was taking a step back. But now also with all the things going on with their um, you know, taking out certain emojis, certain quotes, renaming characters, it's pretty clear they've got a lot of work to do before they can just hold some type of event, even if it's a BlizzCon line like they did last, like they did this past year. Um, so I'm not surprised. Um, I think it might be the right move for them to make to kind of, you know, let all of this stuff kind of, uh, kind of marinate, kind of rest for a little bit until they're ready to pump out what they're going to do. I'm more excited to see what BlizzCon is going to become, uh, because I think it was getting kind of stale. I mean, I, like I said, I didn't go to 18 or 19, so I can't speak to those two conferences, but the last three that I went to 15, 16 and 17, unless there was something big to announce, BlizzCon just kind of felt stale it just kind of felt like a cosplay adventure you know there just wasn't it wasn't like blizzcon 09 where there was cataclysm announcements diablo announcements starcraft 2 announcements uh, like to me what blizzcon's all about is what's new coming for the games and let's talk about it and try it out um so unless that's what they're going to do with blizzcon um i don't know what could actually make it good so you know I'd like to take my kids to BlizzCon soon, um, or well, not soon, but when they're older. I'd like for them to go to a BlizzCon and really be excited like I was. Um, I don't know if that's going to, I don't know how that's going to work out, but um, we'll see. We'll see how it all plays out. Um, I'm looking forward to see when they're going to announce the next WoW expansion. Might be on a Twitch stream, might be at Gamescom, who knows? But we'll see. It's def we're definitely not going to have uh, a BlizzCon line and probably not a, Blizz a live BlizzCon in 2022. I don't think we'll get together. I don't think we'll actually have an actual convention, an in-person convention until 2023. So we're talking, what, two years? So it's interesting to see the, the direction that uh, Blizzard's going to go in. So 
We'll see how it all plays out. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Please like, comment, and subscribe.